Our journey begins more than 5,000 years in the past with the Indus Valley Civilization. Tucked away in the northwestern region of the Indian subcontinent, this society was one of the world's earliest urban civilizations. The inhabitants of this civilization were known for their remarkable sense of urban planning. Cities like Mohenjo-Daro and Harappa discovered years later by archaeologists stood testament to this fact. These cities were laid out in a grid-like pattern, showcasing a level of sophistication rarely seen in other civilizations of the same period. Trade was another significant aspect of the Indus Valley civilization. The mighty Indus River served as a lifeline, providing sustenance and facilitating trade with distant lands. Seals and artifacts discovered from the region suggest a bustling trade network that extended as far as Mesopotamia. However, like many ancient civilizations, the Indus Valley civilization also saw a decline. Scholars believe a combination of climatic changes and seismic activities could have led to its fall, but the spirit of the Indus Valley lived on, influencing the cultures and societies that followed. So, the first chapter of India's history is marked by a sophisticated civilization with a keen sense for urban planning. It's a testament to the resilience and ingenuity of the human spirit, setting the stage for the many chapters yet to unfold in the epic tale of India's past. Let's move forward to around 1500 BCE to the Vedic period. This era, named after the sacred texts called the Vedas, marked a significant shift in the cultural and spiritual landscape of the Indian subcontinent. The Vedas, composed in Sanskrit, are the oldest scriptures of Hinduism and contain hymns, prayers, and ritual texts composed by ancient rishis or sages. Around the same time, another set of philosophical texts known as the Upanishads emerged. These texts delve into concepts such as karma, the cycle of birth and death, and the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment, or moksha. From these writings, the religion we now know as Hinduism began to take shape. It introduced the concept of dharma, an inherent order in the universe and a duty every individual must follow according to their stage in life and occupation. This period also saw the development of the caste system, a hierarchical social structure that would deeply influence Indian society for centuries to come. Thus, the Vedic period not only shaped India's spiritual landscape, but also left a profound impact on its social structure. It gave birth to Hinduism, a religion that continues to guide the lives of millions of people today and establish social norms that continue to influence the fabric of Indian society. From here, we transition to the era of the Maurya and Gupta empires, spanning from around the 3rd century BCE to the 5th century CE. This historical period marked a significant epoch in the annals of India, where the country experienced a golden age of cultural and scientific advancements. The Mauryan Empire, founded by the legendary Chandragupta Maurya, was one of the largest empires in the world at its zenith. It was a period of political unification and administrative efficiency. The most famous Mauryan ruler, Ashoka, is celebrated even today for his turn towards Buddhism and his principles of non-violence and tolerance. Following the Mauryan Empire, the Gupta Empire ushered in what is often referred to as the Golden Age of India. This period was characterized by extensive achievements in science, technology, engineering, art, dialectic, literature, logic, mathematics, astronomy, religion, and philosophy. The decimal numeral system, the concept of zero, and many foundational works in literature and drama were developed during this period. The Gupta Empire is also renowned for its cultural and artistic accomplishments, particularly in the realm of temple architecture, sculpture, and painting. The Ajanta and Ellora Caves, with their intricate carvings and stunning frescoes, are shining examples of Gupta-era art and architecture. These empires represented golden ages in India's history, periods of cultural and scientific flourishing. Their influence is still felt today, as their contributions continue to shape the world in myriad ways. The medieval period introduces a new chapter in India's history. This epoch, spanning from the 8th to the 18th century, witnessed the rise of formidable powerhouses, the Delhi Sultanate and the Mughals. These Islamic dynasties, hailing from Central Asia, brought with them a profound influence that would forever shape India's cultural and social fabric. The Delhi Sultanate, established in the 12th century, was the first Islamic empire in India. Its rule was marked by a blend of administrative efficiency and military prowess, which laid the groundwork for centuries of Islamic rule in the region. Following the Sultanate, the Mughal Empire emerged as a powerful entity in the 16th century. Under the reign of Akbar the Great, 
the Mughals fostered an environment of religious tolerance, leading to a harmonious coexistence of Hindu and Islamic traditions. This synthesis was evident in art, architecture, music, and cuisine, creating a unique cultural mosaic that is still celebrated today. The medieval period was also a golden era for trade and culture. With its strategic location along the Silk Road, India became a vibrant hub, attracting traders, scholars, and artists from across the globe. This influx of ideas and commodities further enriched India's cultural tapestry. This period brought a rich fusion of Hindu and Islamic influences, creating a unique cultural blend. It was a time of change, growth, and cultural amalgamation, leaving a lasting imprint on the annals of India's history. Now, we enter a time of significant change with the arrival of the British East India Company. The year was 1600, and this trading entity, chartered by Queen Elizabeth I, initially sought spices, silks, and other exotic goods from the Indian subcontinent. However, over time the company's influence grew, extending far beyond trade. They established factories or trading posts in key coastal towns such as Madras, Bombay, and Calcutta. These factories were fortified and defended by the company's private armies, which were larger than those of many European states. The mid-18th century marked a pivotal moment. Following the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the company essentially became the rulers of Bengal, a vast and wealthy region. This victory signaled the dawn of a new era, where the company transformed from traders to sovereign rulers. As the years passed, the company's grip tightened. By the mid-19th century, the British crown took direct control over India, marking the start of the British Raj, or rule. This period saw significant changes in India's political, economic, and social fabric. English became the language of administration, new laws were implemented, and the Indian economy was restructured to serve Britain's interests. The British reign marked a turning point in India's history, leading to profound political, economic, and social changes. The 20th century brought a fervent struggle for independence. India, under the yoke of British rule, was ripe for revolution. Enter the stalwarts of the independence movement, Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, and countless others. Gandhi, with his doctrine of non-violence and civil disobedience, inspired masses. His peaceful protests like the Salt March and Quit India movement shook the very foundations of the British Empire. Nehru, with his modernist views, fueled the fire of freedom, while the likes of Bhagat Singh, Subhash Chandra Bose ignited the spirit of rebellion among the youth. This movement, marked by peaceful protests, powerful marches and the ultimate sacrifices, was a testament to India's unity in diversity. The journey was filled with struggles and sacrifices, but the indomitable spirit of the Indian people never wavered. The spirit of resilience and unity eventually led to India's long-awaited independence. On August 15, 1947, India emerged as an independent nation. Our journey through the annals of time has taken us from the advanced Indus Valley civilization to the spiritual birth during the Vedic period. We've walked through the golden eras of the Maurya and Gupta empires, experienced the cultural fusion of the medieval period, and felt the shift under British rule. Through it all, the resilience and unity of India's people shone brightly. Our exploration might be brief, but the tale of India's history is an ongoing saga, rich with diversity, culture, and the indomitable spirit of its people.